Greetings, my dear viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and salutations my fellow gamers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Blitzbice and happy Halloween to you all on this night of fears and frights and ghouls and goblins and all manner of creatures that lurk in the dark. We are back to playing a game that I played for my last Halloween episode which turned out to also be my 100th video. Unfortunately, this isn't my 200th video, but it is going to be my Halloween special. For today, we are continuing our playthrough of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. Now, of course, if you don't remember this game, not a problem. You can go watch my first video, which I published... Yeah, last year! One year ago, exactly. And I'm happy to be playing this game again, doing Chapter 2. And I'm glad you all could be here with me on Halloween night, or later, if you're watching it later, while I play through it. Now, don't forget, people, if you like and subscribe right now, the ghouls and ghosts and goblins won't come after you this Halloween. Unless you into that, in which case, liking and subscribing will cause them to come after you and terrify you. I know I'm subscribed, so are you? Press the button and you'll see. But now we must finally get into this gameplay for I shall be continuing it where I left off. Now, one thing to note, I did play through chapter one again, just so I could remember what happened since it had been a year. So we're going to continue on through that one, as you can see right there at the bottom. So without further ado, let us begin. Episode 2, Graves. You are finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. Oh, well, sorry for interrupting your reading. Ugh. It's been a week. The odds that there's something now are non-existent. Possibly, maybe, but after what you guys did in the last episode, uh, again, watch my first episode if you haven't. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just let me check. Uh. Look, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. You had like three hundred dollars each. How'd you blow through it that quickly? Technically, I have money. Uh. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. Uh. So no money then. Uh. I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. Well, I mean, they check my ID when I go to the bank, so, you know... It means my, my money is secure, so yeah, I want them to check my IDs. You should use your ID for everything! Like, goddamn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel, why do I need to know who I am? Well, just in case you do something where they need to find out who you are so they can report you to the police if you trash the hotel room, maybe that, Andrew? I'm playing a front, aren't I? So it's not like I'm bail out on them. Well, true, but again, there's consequences to that kind of stuff, you know? Boo hoo, the motel is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Well, given the town, the part of town it looks like you're in, yeah, that happens, you know? You're not always staying in the nicest of places, guys. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. You sure, Lele? Yet. <laughs> What? Uh, I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we can't both be consistently shitting ourselves over every little thing. Well, I mean, maybe it's good that one of you does, just in case. True, let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Probably not a bad idea, you know? We could always have a quick look around though, just in case, you know? Let's see, fuck off from there. Oh, sorry. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, might interest you in leaving me the- <laughs> What is wrong with the people in this, uh, like, world? Like, seriously, they just, you know, shut people up in apartment buildings with no food? Like, seriously. Uh, 
Oh yeah. By the way, so maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. Oh, I found some very nice Nuka Cola in there. You know, maybe that'll do something. You never know. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you people. Welcome to our co-host. His name's Jackie. I'm pretty sure you can tell why. And he is our, you know, as I said, he's our co-host for this episode. He'll be menacingly staring at you as you watch this video while I play, just so you know how spooky things are. <laughs> if he's smiling, it means things are creepy, so keep an eye out for when he's smiling. Like right now, he's not smiling, so you know, you never know. Mixed waste. Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Poof, well. Okay then. What's this? Unemployment office, one blank, uh, minus one club, six FU. Safety only, it says, and it's locked. Alright, yeah, so I know I'm not supposed to be here yet. Uh, I can remember that part from last time. I need to go down uh, this way, right? Oh. There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my, maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash, and it would be tax free to boot. D you know what? She's got a point, huh? You know? I mean, that's not right. The angels probably shouldn't do that. They have more self respect than that, but still, I mean, come on. Say another word, and I'll backhand you. Oh my. Sheesh, look at that joke, Jack. Man, you didn't sound like you were joking, Lele. Learn to make a joke, huh? You're so out there that I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. So, I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. And would you honest to God backhand me just like that? Uh, well, not right here. <laughs> I like Andrew. Andrew's great. Ashley? Eh. Wow, okay, wife beater. He, okay, well, that's not funny, but still. Oh, I don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. Uh, yeah, that's a good sibling relationship right there. Can we break into cars? Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if your euthanasia is right for you. Oh, so we're in Canada then. Alright. A soft drink ad. There are three new and exciting flavors. Limited time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. You can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on. It's just a couple bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Ugh, this sucks. It's limited time too. Yeah, you guys chose the wrong time to uh, murder someone. Park is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. Well, wait, that looks like it's like in the day. What's there at night? That's good. You told me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Why I lied. Fuck your soda. Up yours, Andrew. What do I even put up with you for? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on this, and that's final. Oh man, buzzkill. Paper from a few days ago, there's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. Do they not give you toilet paper at this hotel? All in all, total waste of money. Well, I mean, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Andrew's been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. The closet is empty except for. Reclaimed your gun! Alright. No, it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. Okay. Oh. There's no pillow. Let's see. Oh, dude. I suppose I should throw these in the wash while I still can. Yeah, probably don't leave your undergarments out where your brother can see them. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Okay, well then maybe this is you. Yeah, I forgot how it's gonna be really weird having a, uh... A uh, candle is burning right next to me. That's not scented. Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Um, have you tried Toxic Soda? It's water, but worse! It's water with sugar in it! <laughs> now in three new flavors! Awful, gross, and nasty! Try them today! Mmm, mmm, Toxic Soda. Tastes like life. I don't know why I'm drinking this. Yeah, I don't know either. Endless slew of ads. Hey, get your fat ass out of the way. Ass, I think you mean my awesome fat... You... <laughs> what do I worry about? Awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. <laughs> Move, you cow. Whatever, wanker. Okay, wait, so... Oh, this is definitely England, because they have some British terms in there. They have stuff like wanker and everything else. Alright, let's put these... Uh, throw them in the washer. What else can I do? Can I, sh can I flush the toilet? Yeah, I can still flush the toilet! 
All done. You're welcome. Great, thanks. Huh? I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's a, he's a real lucky guy. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean now and I feast on your eyes. Sure you are. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day long like a slob. Knock it off. I'm not going to be in the news, Andy. Oh, yeah, she promised not to call them that. <laughs> I should have known. Uh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? You going to choke me out again, are you? Are you? I must admit, it's not the way you think. He was just trying to get her to stop talking, okay? Do you want me to? Uh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you. Uh, and it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism shove it up your ass. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Uh, are you? Uh, Leslie? Are, yeah, see, are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. I thought you that you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. Yeah? And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess that are burned to the ground. Yeah, no. Not, nothing about all the people burned alive in there. No, it's just like, eh, it was a mess, you know? It, it was meant to be burnt down. I swear, what is wrong with the people in this world? They forward it. It is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try our Toxic Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting fl- Excuse me, sir, something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. Nope. I'm sure you went to say drink our trusty Bubbly Popply, which happens to be our sponsor. <laughs> And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Well, I mean, you saw what the commercial was like for those toxic soda, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, yeah. Yeah, that does happen. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Uh, was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that was great, isn't it? Uh, um, they must think we died too, and all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wondered about that. Hehe, <laughs> I told you it'll all work out. That still leaves its homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. I wish all hotel rooms actually came like this, you know, like they had, you know, a bed, a couch, a TV. I don't know most, most hotel rooms that have it. Usually most of my been just have a bed. In a kitchen? It's like a mini apartment. I usually fall asleep without a care in the world. What? Oh yeah, this. Someone has entered the room. Oh. Oh boy. Oh! That was... Yeah, I think. Oh boy. Wake up, we gotta go. Uh, what? Get up, I had a vision. We're about to get killed, now we gotta go now. Let's get out of here. Let's see what we got. So, I wanna stay out here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Well, people will just do stuff, you know? They'll kill you to, you know, avoid you trying to get stop them. It happens. Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? So, assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lets up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. Fair enough. Hey, you want to spend yours on soda. I'm not saying smoking's better, but you I mean, don't really- don't judge him if you don't want to be judged. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Make you- makes you imp impotent too, by the way. <laughs> Way to go for the jugular. 
Didn't sound like I'd be melting any girls, some meeting any girls anytime soon anyway, you know? What's stopping you? Maybe my freak of a sister can turn me into a cannibal and a murderer? Anything about that? You little bitch. You know, I wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for you, well. You your dumb ideas and your stupid hair and your talking about boobs all the time or whatever, you know? Yeah, you think, you know, I wonder why I don't meet any girls, uh, I could have met a girl when I was little, but you wanted to lock her in a crate and leave her there until she died, uh, you know? Yeah, I could have been without you right now. Ugh, <laughs> like I said enough, uh, Quiet, you, I thought we were hiding, uh. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, hey, hey, what's up? Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy you were expecting to come slit your throat, huh? Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? T don't say that loud. Sorry, did we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on! <laughs> Seriously though, I guess there's m more where he came from. Where did you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? <laughs> Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. Uh, but you're also curious about what the cultist looks look like is up to. Ugh, uh, fine, you go, but come back soon. I mean, she does have the gun, you know? You are Andrew. Oh, I thought I was Blitzbite. Uh, but yeah, it's like, we don't really have nothing to worry about. Uh, she has a gun. You know? Yeah, everything's probably eaten now. Eat food. Uh, that's, that's what, if I get, ever own a restaurant, uh, that's what I'm gonna name mine. I'm gonna name mine Eat Food. Uh, It'll be sh uh, short, sweet, and to the point. Uh. Oh, wait! Hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run! The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. Ha <laughs> ha! Curse you, brats! Oh, huh, interesting. What have we got here? Cardboard recycling apparently approved by the devil. If the graffiti on the wall is anything to go by, yeah. It's asking for a passcode. Uh. Maybe, well, it's demonic, right? So, uh, maybe, uh... Oh. Did I seriously get that right on the first go? Huh! Who would have thought that? Uh? Alright, hold on a sec. Yeah, sorry if my uh, voice is going a little, uh, a little too high there. But yeah, who would have thought? I don't know why I even mentioned entertain the idea of it being anything else. <laughs> I did not expect to get that round the first go. Oh, what? We let you in. Sorry, I was not supposed to be here. This is a private event. Shoo. Is this the Sex and Demons party? Wait, what? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There is no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. I don't want to trigger a demon summoning then. I mean, that's what I was told, but uh, listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. All right, sorry. I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. They're pretty far from the home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed to manage to eventually, but you decide you should get inside somehow and find out. Huh? Locked. Let's see. Uh, what do I care about those clowns up, up to anyway? Yeah. You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you call it quits. Huh? And just then, just as you're putting your smoke out, uh, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got employee key. Ha 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 ha. look around. The top layer full of cakes, uh, Lola has some paper cups. Uh. What's this? So a couple of notes in the trash. It reads, uh, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. Uh, I don't think anyone listened. Someone else left a note. It reads, uh, Whoever ate my uh, casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Uh, Ah, uh, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Yeah, that happens in the office I work at too, you know. I'll put my lunch in the fridge and someone will eat it. Then I'll tell them I'm going to, you know, murder their entire family and put their heads on stakes on Halloween night to summon a devil to cause a curse on their whole entire family that's still alive. You know, we just do funny stuff like that, you know, uh, at my office. Hey, Jack, you doing okay? Good. Alright. Let's keep looking. 
The cars, uh, the car sit plates. <laughs> Can't speak today. <laughs> On the carts, plates full of cakes and coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit like late for a work meeting. Ah, oh, the other is coming up. Uh, oh, this is gonna take two trips. Uh. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Uh. Room paper cups on the cart. Uh. He certainly squeezed himself into the car now, but it'll be seen instantly. Oh wait, hold on. Pull down one of the curtains. Got a curtain. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Huh? Hmm. Of course, it's hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth, but yeah, I'd do the same. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is that car so much heavier than the other? It couldn't be. The way of my sins! No! <laughs> That's right, buddy! Uh, better pray for the redemption because it ain't gonna happen if you don't. Uh. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. Between me and the devil, just act normal. D did I miss it? Shh! I can't see anything from here. Ahem. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now, I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first, uh, all together now. Show yourself Lord Unknown. Uh. Oh yeah, such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. Folks keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. Uh, but it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Uh. Wow, look at this amateur hour. Might actually summon something on a first try. But that's probably not a good thing, is it? Yeah. I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Uh, um, I brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Well, oh, can we have some now? Sigh. Yes, please enjoy yourselves. Uh, oh, uh, hey there. Where are your robes? Uh, sorry, the thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, now you've got your answer, you miss Ashley. Uh, well, hold on, let's uh, look around first. Uh, no service right now. Let's see, what else can we do? Hey there! Hey, I'm on a stage, like I'm famous! Na 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 I wanna be, I wanna be, I wanna be famous! Woo! Take that, boy! Hey guys, how's it going? Too busy eating cake to care? Can I have some cake? No? Alright. Hey, we didn't... Didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How do we miss the summoning? How does the summoning go? Ugh, ah, no. Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that getup. Uh, hey, you can't come here just like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. Uh, you know what? I think you're right. Uh, shame on me. I'll leave right away. Uh, uh, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Uh, Simple as that, people. So dumb. Hey, why does she look so sad? Like seriously, shouldn't she look at least angry? Why does she look so sad? Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all got around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like a... You hear a car. Oh, there he is. That's it, that's him. That's how you slow our throats in my dream. Yeah, because he really just went into our room just like that. You still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk we were hoarding. I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. <laughs> uh, at that point, you know, I'm not gonna waste my, my energy for her socks either. It's my better bra, actually. This one, new one sucks. So not interested, in fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. Dude! You know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically uh, after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down, so even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... 
Ugh, and why is he still in the room? Why we're not even there? Well, if I was him, I'd figure we we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Yeah. Hmm? He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision. Again. And you know this how? I know this because it's what I do, duh. Plus he's using a knife, so there. I mean, yeah, true. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. That's the problem I'm having. The question not why she's through... The question not why she's thought about such things. Now enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll alert him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? <sighs> yep, we already did to a few people. Let's go. Alright, leave this to me. This is going to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber. When did you guys do that? Which, if I may add, was your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my lead. Alright, I am Ashley now. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to step forth to kill you yet. Oh, God, oh gosh jolly, Andrew. I just realized I impromptu night walk to the store I was left me parched. Is that so? Let's return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's just take a shortcut through the park. And my mate, he already made frolic amongst the foliage, shielded from sight. Great acting there, Ashley. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized I don't trust the staff here. Given what you're about to run with uh, him and around, would you like to save the game? Uh, sure. Got wash laundry. All right, that's good. Had to go. Oh, okay. All right, let's get out of here. All right, holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just get plenty in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get yourself already. I already did. All right, let's head down. Let's go through the park, which I think is over this way. Yep. Is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner in the co and you can ambush him from. A corner? It's all bushes. Okay, fine. We'll go over here then. Advantage shopping carts. Very classy. Um, found a used... A used you should not take it with you? Yeah, thank goodness. Why would I want to take that with me? What are we going to do? Here, this will hide us nicely. What are you going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave them. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads, and we'll keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, oh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good, don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. Well, well, he's got, she's got a point. And on that note, not it. <laughs> you gonna have him do it? You're making me do it again? Dude, I only have a knife. You got this. Oh, I hear first steps, I think. Uh, Ashley, wait. Uh, I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. Uh, I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. Uh, and you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know where he's here. Crap, do, he whisper, do we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to. Uh, I bet this is all suspicious as hell. Yeah! This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. Girl, what are you... Tee -hee, off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. What is wrong with this girl? How are we even related? Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer and Ashley. Yeah. There's some bugs in the bushes, but nothing else. So. Oh, hold on. Oh god, it's just you. Well, what are you doing, you absolute? Shh! You didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? Why have you sneaked up on you? Or shh, shh leave. Nothing. Uh. Ah, there he is. Shoot. Woo! D is he dead? Nice work. Uh, 
Actually, he claims her gun? Ah, I knew you had it in you. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's just get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well then, can we just shoot them too? Don't think we'll always be so lucky, huh? And yeah, what the fuck was that? What was what? You're running out of the blue. What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that Hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. You didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. I wouldn't say genius is the right word. I would not. Not one bit. Don't you think so, Jack? Yeah, I think so too. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius? Well, he wasn't. Ugh. Quit your bitching, all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas. So, so that I can tell you off. <laughs> Alright, I'm back to playing as Ashley. Alright. Okay, let's see. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue who it was us? Well, this guy carries a knife with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh. What for? My driver's license? Fair, fair point. Well, good thing it's me manhandling the corpse then. Okay, wait, hold on. So she doesn't have her driver's license. Uh, he does. So what is, is, uh, is, she, is she like 15 and he's 16? Uh, I don't know. That's what, I mean, 16 is when I got my driver's license, when most people do. I don't know if that's what everyone does, but whatever. Uh, I'm playing this thing for like 30 minutes. Wow. Right, let's head. Let's head back to the. Oh no, I can't. Okay. What do we? Do we get the car? Sweet. Oh. All right. Let's uh, see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. Uh, it's a little late to worry about that. Uh, we've already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? Uh, there's an envelope with the various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this to receive for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we include free samples of our all-new soda flavors from our sister company, Happy Washing. Yeah, what exactly is he washing? Are we the laundry? Seems that way. Yikes. Uh... Not yet. In fact, let's go... Is there anything? Oh. Newspaper cutouts of various incidents, most of them about your old apartment, both the tainted water and the fire situation. There's also an article from last week about some chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled the words, same shit, in the corner. Mediate mindlessly sits on top of the car seat. Nope. Take the car and go. Vroom vroom. So where to? Hmm. Could you elaborate? Go off somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. Isn't this exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car? <laughs> yeah, I agree with him. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. Uh, for fuck's sake, does anything I say go in one year and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squad about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. Uh, what money do you think she had exactly? I'm sure she's got something. Uh, I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she's, she can't sell those. Uh, she can't, but I sure can. Well, no family sentimentality there. Uh, again, after what her parents did to her, you know. Uh, no. We still can't go over there. Why not? So we got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're the, anywhere near and poor enough for someone to hire to? If anything, it seems they assume that guy took care of us, and that's that. Yeah, they paid him in the band and said we don't need any updates, so they even contact us again. So they basically just gave money to someone, and as far as they know, uh, you know, they basically just said, yeah, yeah, you know, I don't need any proof that they're alive. You can just take our money and go. We, we assume that you'll actually do it. Like, seriously. 
But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. We'll be quick, uh, get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. Uh, so now you want to kill our parents? Great. Uh, have you not heard about this game so far? You just said you can't talk to them again anyway, so they might as well be dead. Uh, I'm way too tired for this. Uh, fine, we'll just rob them then. Bring them while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Uh, where do they live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. Uh, she actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh, the only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. I didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Oh yeah, this music. Hey, like, sounds like they're saying. I swear. We'll, we'll be fine. Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor. Easy there, man! What are you, Karate Kid? Yeesh! My god, it's not in your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Ooh, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. Uh, I'll be goddamn if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Uh, make me then. Do it or you not. Alright, do you or do you not want to rub our parents? Uh, I said make me, Andy. Uh, okay, what do you want? Uh, if it'll piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I, yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't even. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's just Andy and Le Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well, that's not funny, and you're do and you're going to stop. Yeah, good sibling relationship these two have. You know, I feel like I trust them. This is a good sibling relationship. Nothing is funny to you anymore. You gonna say anything a little uh, to your little sister, big bro? Yeah, nothing. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumbass about it. So just drive. Take it easy, guys, okay? Are you hungry? I'm looking out for us. So fucking drive, Andy. Don't get mad at him when you're the one who started all this, okay, uh, Lele? Just drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. He decided to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. For what? You started all this. Why does he have to apologize? You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. Oh yeah, I think this is- yeah, this shit. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time you feel wide awake. Let's see. Oh yeah, these islands are being trying to get past all these. So... huh, what? Who's there? Where are you? Where am I? Is this another uh, vision or what? There's no response. There's nothing to step on. What am I looking for exactly? Oh! I remember. Picked up red flowers? Okay. And then... One, two... Laid down some red flowers, there you go! Actually, I gotta get back to the groove of things. Uh. Keep an eye out for red flowers. Uh. Tarsal. Summoned YouTube can't tune in. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. Uh. The voice continues talking, but you can't make out heads or tails of it. So. Ah, uh, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Uh. more stuff. I gotta find some place where I can actually find some flowers. But this is just where I was. Right? Oh, this. Hold on. There's flowers up there. Fuck. Where am I? Everything looks the same. Yeah. But I picked up red flowers. I can do this. 
All right. Hey. Well, you just avoid falling down into eternal void. Lucky. Ah, it's you. I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream, I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. <laughs> Petty little girl. The demon couldn't care less about the love of spat you're having with your brother. The, the what? The what? It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future? Well, uh, yeah, the trinket you gave me. Yeah, it's very useful, thank you. Then, do you want to see the future again? Sure, I have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. Am I being... Am I able to recharge it? Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that's it then, not yours. Tar soul. Is that like an insult or something? Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you get some souls yourself? I cannot uh, enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach out only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only attract between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, then you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I'll do. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda. I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right Andy to talk about this. I will be waiting. Eh, right. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, Tarsal. I don't know what all that was about. Got some more flowers here. Thank you. Let's see. I know. I go this way. No. I go down this way. Oh. There you are. Thank you. Oh. I need more stuff to step on. Alright. Maybe if I go up this way. No. Maybe if I go over here and down this way. Nope. Nothing to step on. Darn it. I go down this way. Oh, there we go. Let's go. I got the flowers. There you go. Oh, there was some over there, too, I got picked up. Huh? The door decorated with flowers. Enter. Nah, hold on. So decorated with an eyes. Enter. Uh, why not? Uh. Where did I go? Maybe... Okay, oh! Okay, what happens if I go over here? Okay, once I go over here... Right down this way... To over here... Alright... Up this way... And over this way, and then all- yep, there we go! Tar Soul. Well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh, up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demon world. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm unsummoned will result in your death. Oh, so it's fine as long as you are summoned? So why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me here in the carp crap land instead? Return home, Tar Soul. I am expecting those souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then show me and then not show it to me. Return now. 
Ah! Where am I now? Ah, oh, this is so tiresome. I have to here with these stupid flowers. Uh. What? I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but, uh... Let's see. Uh, Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole! Come on, wake up, it's not funny! I'm trying, jackass! Do something, help me! Oh. Ugh. Oh, thank god. I was a hair away from talking- from taking you to the hospital. Huh, why? Uh, that would screw us over, wouldn't it? Uh, you wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. Well, at least he cares. Uh, you can say that. Uh, that. At least he cares. Uh, God, actually, don't scare me like that. Uh, uh, what time is it? Uh, like 10 in the morning uh, or something. Uh, Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. Uh, and unless they got new jobs and they don't start until like later at night or something. So whenever you're ready, I guess. Uh, Oh, sorry, people. Uh, maybe it's having this pumpkin so close to me, I don't know. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. Uh, I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Uh, considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I'm pretty fucking lenient with you. Uh, what? So anyways, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo, no thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm too nice that I'll roll with it for now. Oh, yeah. Oh, great, Ashley. Why not three at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Well, let's go and uh, look. Anything over here to steal? Nope. What about over here? Nope. This can't be the right place. Uh, look how nice everything is. Uh, no, it's gotta be this. She said she did sound happy when we, she talked about the new place too. What's their last name anyway? What do you mean? That's what the last name. The name plates on the doors. Do you? They go with dad's name or mom's? Dad's name, right? Uh, why are they change it uh, at this point? I don't know. To throw us off. Uh, you even make it sound like they don't want us to find them. It's just a feeling I got. Uh. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Uh. Seriously? That's their name? Ugly Van McHideous. Uh. Harsh. Uh. It's gotta be... Ah, here we go. D don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. Alright, all good. But right, let's just find a way in. Parents' trash bins. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, come on! Look at this place. Uh, they got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Let's have a look around. A stick. Uh, I, 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 no, I, I already saw it's a stick. One uh, of the planks is loose. Uh, come back for that later. Back door is locked. Yeah, of course it would. Uh, oh, but they left the door. They left the window open. Can you reach it? Nope. Alright, well then let's go get... No, kick it that with the board. Got a wooden plank. Perfect. Place the wood, wooden plank. Uh, let's go. Ah, still too high. Lift me up. Uh. Well, that's so good. Tell him with that tell him place by a latch just on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unlock it. Uh. I see a stick there. This shall be my poking stick. Uh, got a stick? Uh, what's all that? Got a key? Not. There's fuck all underneath the flower pots. Uh. Oh, that would have been so easy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the uh, now open window. Uh, give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Uh, thanks, but I'd much rather you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, renovations are afoot. Turn the handle and no water comes out. Uh, there's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. Yeah, probably a good idea. Oh, not bad. Let's open. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. 
Exceptionally well done, that was on earth shattering performance. Yeah. Dude, you're just feeding into her, you know? To think you'd open the door swiftly, and that's such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking, these are but a few words I've used to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. I wonder what she wants to talk about. So, kitchen? Is that much of the fridge right now? Hmm. Stool? Okay. Well, nothing in there. That leads down to the, uh... Let me go here. A fireplace! They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes. This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? Well, my parents do. That's how she has, like, my cousins, my aunts do, you know, my, all people like that, so yeah. It's not that common, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But in this house, old? Fuck if I know. A lot of modern homes have fireplaces. It's the phone your mother never calls you with. Let's see. Dresser is locked. And I already know it's locked. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed? Yeah, I don't want to either. Inside a closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Ew. Yeah, you close, yeah, clothes in the closet. Probably a good idea. Let's look down in the basement. Wait, first off. You find a letter, it reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. I was just one on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. So that's open. So yeah, they, wait, they said blessing in the skies. Are they really okay with their, you know, with their kids just dying? Washing machine and tumble dryer? Your parents are living it up here. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Dirty laundry right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. Yeah, that, I can agree. Next in quality mop. That could come in handy later. Mailbox full of screwdrivers. Christmas decorations including a string of lights. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Why is there just a random bed down here? Your parents have lived here for only a few months, yet they somehow managed to hoard all the stuff and a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue, and an extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. Oh, great. Well, can't seem to find anything worthwhile. Drain seems to be clogged up, but it's not your problem. Pull it upstairs, that one actually works. So is there anything else? On the table, some lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Got dresser key. All right, perfect. Which means we can go and unlock the dresser. Where's uh, Where's Andrew? Oh, there he is. Oh, you found a key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Grant, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Looking through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why my mom kept telling me not to call. Huh. Must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit. Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. And you're still shooting whatever parent comes in, but you can't offer the soul of the dead, and you hold off on that idea. Is someone there? Uh, hi mom, it's just us. Well, I guess we go talk to mom. Welcome home. Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How'd you do get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Yep. Here, let me help you with those groceries. 
Thanks. You should have left me when you know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. Yeah, Mom seems super happy to have them back. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee, yeah? Let's see, putting away groceries. Meat wine, looks like your parents had a night planned. Dish, uh, blender, the pot is empty, yeah? A cooking book, mostly broth and stew recipes. So what am I supposed to do? Go talk to mom? First off, your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash? It's nowhere near enough for you. Just in case, you know. Hi, sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Actually, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. This should go done with mail us some dry food or something. What for? You were taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit? Shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. Yeah, great. Yeah, mom of the year right there. Yeah. I don't know if it's that candle or something, but my throat. Oof. I just haven't really spoken that much. Uh. Let's see. Uh, a sink. Uh, how is that key? You brew some coffee. Okay, there we go. So I saw the fire on the news. Uh, what happened? Uh, what do you care? Hell. Well, at first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go ahead to leave. Uh, since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh, interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, we're here. Here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, you look. Sh yeah, you sure look it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from the previous place, huh? Where'd you get all the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Ha, <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do the stuff here. I bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. The same I actually didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> this the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you keep you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. If you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Oh, well, it's good seeing you. I thought I should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know, full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Uh, oh boy, I can't wait to hear about how Dad's been. He must have all kinds of stories about our parents' place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix this something. I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. Alright, well now I'm Andrew. So I gotta cook something? Alright, fine. See what I've been reduced to, Jack? You see that? Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then, make something, you smooth talker. Alright. Let's see, what we got? Uh, you can go whatever. Alright, what is it? Uh, it's nothing. You're stuck with an odd urge to pull this broady bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wished you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. You need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil it in a pot. Let's see. Got meat. And then, I know we get the rest. Put carrots. Yep. How nice that our parents had all this fresh ingredients while we languished in our apartment. Uh, it really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Uh, come on, we got ours. Uh, we just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. He's not dismissing, dismissing it entirely. He's still thinking that, well, maybe we'll have to kill them. Dude, don't let your sister drag you down this, okay? I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? Uh, Let's see, I can't tell what it is I'm gonna argue, so you leave for now. Got carrots, uh, got onions, alright. So I need to chop everything up. Uh. So where's the cutting board? There. You cut the meat, chop the meat, chop the potatoes. Uh. Yep. Just curious, did you just use the, uh, the cold scissors cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yeah, why? 
I hope you washed it first. I kept it clean, obviously. Hey, that should be all the ingredients. You throw all the ingredients to a pot and wait, huh? Alright, you can take this to anyone. Actually, I can't tell- I can tell something is up, huh? Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree, huh? I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying, what is it? Uh, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. Uh, I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. Uh, but since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. Well, that escalated quickly. <sighs> no, no, none of that. Uh, I actually need their souls to recharge this clairvoyant string thingy. Do you really? Why are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I mean, he does technically have a point. Uh, like, a weird time to bring that up, huh? I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. Uh, and again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Uh, let me think about it. Uh, what's there to think about? Uh, hey kids, good to see you. Uh, says Dad with the enthusiasm of a dead fish. Uh, Long as you tired some dinner later. Hey, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. I mean... Um, I guess. Picked up dishes. Picked up dishes. We ain't gonna wash these off in the sink. This, again. Yep. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing. Robbing, nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It'll take one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? They're surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it's not. It only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we're not only alerted them they're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. Still doing wrong, but whatever. And what makes you sure this won't- this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. Yeah, she did not seem really interested in any of you two. So, you know, I fucking knew it, I knew it, I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful, but when push up to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play Happy Family some more? But you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Well, to me, it was the same as ever. Actually, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen, I choose you, didn't I? I choose you. And if anyone is playing Happy Family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already? Fuck off with that. Uh, that's not what I said. Uh, if you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. Uh, I've been behaving. No, you haven't. That's not what I've been asking about anyway. Uh, I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Uh, funny, because I don't remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. Uh, that is funny. I think you're misremembering. It's, I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Uh, what? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me here to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. The other one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. They're talking as if they're two different people, are they? I don't. I didn't think they were two different people. Maybe they are? I don't know. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you've got. Yeah, yeah, careful where you're putting those hands and how close you guys are getting. I've heard things about this game. It, it's not what time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. Uh, if we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we at least have the means to stay safe. Uh, I, I get that, but if, we were to, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that one could keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. <clears throat> hey, Mom, you didn't hear it. What are you two whispering about? Uh, nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. Uh, I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Uh, uh oh. 
There isn't enough space in this house, despite being a, a far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. Wait, hold on. So Andrew said he was in college. Oh wait, he could have been like, you know... Wait, th but... But Layla doesn't have her driver's license. But she's in her 20s? This is a weird game. I don't know how else to say it. Huh? No, no, it's, uh... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. Uh, there's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, but since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. Uh, and it should probably be two separate places. Well, yeah, probably. That's a tall order after all our, our earthly possession just burned to the ground. Uh, it's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Ooh! Thinking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. So Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now, and you will go to your design sleeping areas immediately. Yeah! She's starting to act like a mom again. Kinda. More like a mom warden. Sleep now, or get out at once. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and actually never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, along with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having everything in intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. What the? Greetings, neighbor. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet gruelings of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, naught but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. Tis time for you to compartmentalize. What does that mean? The reason is full of human meat. Pan is empty yet? Alright, actually I already cooked one. Um, hold on. Candle holder is empty yet? Where exactly am I going? Candles are missing. Yeah, I figured that. Oh, hey there. What are you doing here? I uh, actually no dance to that. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. It says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Stop following me, you little shit. <laughs> Dude, that's your sister. Take it easy, a little. All right, let me get that. Lily puts the candle in the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Oh, sure it's dark this way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. Ha, huh, no way. Ask nicely. Can I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's my cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake and you won't need the candle anymore. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool today. Seriously, kid? Okay, whatever. Uh, nothing to light. Uh, hold on. Usually light to light the candle. Oh, okay. What's this? Uh. Can't go. Can't, oh, I can't go. Can't go over there. Oh. Come on. So no way to. Uh, is there no way to go over there? Huh. Hmm. How do I get over there? Let's see, it's gotta be uh oh, wait, hold on. Where? 
why can I... Oh, for Pete's sake, uh... There you are. Oh, creepy. What's this? What do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep. And never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave the spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Well, if I nick myself like in red. I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Dude, you're enabling her. What is that down there? Let's see. How do I get down there? Well, that's simple enough. Colored pencils. Julia? You've been quiet all day. What's up? Uh, no, it's just, it's nothing. Well, actually, it's been thinking about something a lot lately. Uh, but I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, with that much build up, uh, you kind of have to now. Uh, well, okay, but please don't get mad. Whenever have I once raised my voice with her, you know you can tell me anything. Uh, I, uh, talked with my, with my sister about what you, you said the other day, and she agrees with me. Maybe it's, uh, like, maybe it's better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if it's for her own sake, you know. And maybe for our sake, too. I think I'd just be nice for you to stay over more often. Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> and not, like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. I don't think that's his fault. Sorry. I'm not recommending you. Uh, I can't make her learn anything, though. Uh, no, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needs something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I should have said that. Uh, or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend uh, way back then. I actually might not like it, uh, but I think it affected her a lot too. That's probably why she is how she is. No, that's how she was back then, my dude. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mm -hmm. She's difficult in general. So I didn't catch that. No, nothing, go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her, uh, or happening to you. So I can't let either of you two out of my sight. Oh, that's sweet. Too bad I think he ends up with someone a lot different. Man, I think with that, with that back there, plus all this talking, I better talk this much. I'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie? Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no! You pull, you'll pull on it again. How old are these guys? Ah, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? Uh, among other things. Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been lo that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. Can I go see who that is over there? Question of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. Yeah, pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. Oh, I wonder who that is. Uh, who could be that person staring in the window at my girlfriend who hates her so much? Uh, huh? Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm laying it on fire. <laughs> That's flames for you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's good. Set her on fire. Light her on fire! Light her on fire! Oh, that's not good for my voice. Uh. Place and lit the candle? What the heck? This one, this one you had to get before he got you. It worries you if someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy, yeah? And you would want to kill this one anyway, yeah? Oh, you couldn't leave any limits after all. So you could compre you can't comprehend why there hasn't been even a mention of her on the news. Someone surely found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. You'd kill this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back then, when he and his buddies still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind, this one so regrets. You wish you could have killed him slower. Easy there, buddy. 
found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ah, ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. No! I'm thinking you should. Yeah, I'm thinking you should uh, cut her up. What do you need for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Got a severed limb. Well met, young graves. It, uh, perhaps it's how uh, conscious to the, uh, place them in the freezer. Oh. Oh, I did the thing that probably took the longest. I could have gotten all these uh, right away, but I did the one without one first. Uh. Uh, whatever. Does that reckon that my mortal flame was consumed by the flames? For sooth, I did not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but it burn, I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, but whatever. This reminds you of something. Oh yeah, the girl that uh, Ashley killed. Uh. No, 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 dude, you have to look. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> Did you have fun tonight? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There's no answer. Huh, guess she's still sleeping. I don't think she's sleeping. Why that kicks the crate? Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't. You open the crate. What? Ooh. Ooh. Oops. Oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. Why is she dead? How did... What? That can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Ah! Hey, Lele! Take it easy! Shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave here. Since she took the stick off, it looks like she went in there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split like she was there willingly? Oh well, it's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll start rotting. And then someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. She's only a matter of time until they come check her. So what do we do then? Uh, I... Fuck. Let's just hide it then. What? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's both of us. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls just don't go to the same prison. They're gonna take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You'll figure something out then, since you're smart. Okay, let's just, uh, like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, where's the, there's a park right outside. Yeah, it's probably fine. But first we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can be, see us carry her there. There's gotta be, uh... This ought to do. Got a tarp? You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. Oh boy. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figure these wooden planks will work. I mean, they're kind of shovel-y, which... Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy sp spot to dig. Got a wooden plank. Maybe here doesn't seem to be any rocks in the way. Or roots. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? The grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She's, she'll fill in there just fine. Okay. Push her in. Any way they push the body into its grave. Uh, and... Oh yeah, that looks super good. No one's gonna notice that anything is buried under there. Am I right, people? Looks fine to me. Uh. <laughs> of course it would. No, there can't be this. This obviously of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide with some leaves and such? No? Oh, foliage. Uh. Some more foliage is needed. Uh, foliage, okay. Is that enough? 
More foliage is needed? How much more is needed? Uh, that foliage, all right. More, how much more do we need? Uh, come on. Where's the foliage? Give me the foliage. Okay, is this enough? All right. Oh yeah, that looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. Oh yeah, rocks. Got some stones. Hmm, I really want to write her name on it. Uh, out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. <sighs> what is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Uh, listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore? That's an interesting idea, actually. Is that really true? I'll have to look that up later. Don't you think so, Jack? Yeah, I think so. Let's forget all about it. Lately, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me the stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never say, even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. There, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm going to tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your handwriting. I guess you'll just have to do whatever I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. That, uh, honestly, a Andy, that doesn't sound too bad, given what Lele is like. I'm just saying, you know. Man, I'm just saying, honestly. I'm your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'll be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. That's fine, because I'll be around you. Uh, good. You're a stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this happen ha needs to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. Good, yeah, Dude, you should have said it. Absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Of course it didn't. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Mm. Mm. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. <laughs> you wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And, did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream. Yeah, I'm a jackass. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Oh, wait. I see how it is. You're still playing for... Pining for that bitch. Easy. Here we fucking go again. She's dead. You're still all about her, aren't you? Well, it is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Oh, I guess I have to move. Man, this place looks even just as bad back then. Pick a knife up from the sink and give it a quick wash. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this, right? What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you have to promise me something too. Okay. 
I don't like where this is going. Oof. Sorry, that's what happens when I talk too much. Uh, get too much air in there. Keep my secrets, and I'll keep you company. Uh, and what if I don't? Guess. Ha! Huh, you all bark. You wouldn't do anything. Uh, if you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there to keep me, me to keep appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't, if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lately, you are a miserable, lonesome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. This is what Beelzejuice thinks that his relationship like is with Lydia. That, you know, like, oh, they're both messed up. But we messed up together. Maybe it's just my idea for watching Beelzejuice and Beelzejuice Beelzejuice. Did I take the his name three times? Yeah. Yeah, I just watched some movies recently, so yeah. Make it that way you will. Uh, I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ack! Gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better, a better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever kept her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze, it's just us now. Well, considering what we saw earlier, I'm going to assume a hussy did, in fact, steal his gaze. So I'm not surprised she did. I'm not surprised she kept her mouth shut. Uh, I said I'd be around, and never said there wouldn't be others. Uh, huh? Wait, no, I don't want to do over. Too late, a promise is a promise. Andy, that is not fair. Uh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just kill our parents? Uh, what? Hold on, that's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. You know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Of course. I recognize those boobs anywhere. They're too big to be uh, for someone to, like a kid. No, that has to be from a full-grown psychopath. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things you'll... I'll do if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's the way. Good morning or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now, while they're uh, asleep. You'll set the ritual up and I'll do it. I'll give you plenty of enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now you're doing it my way. Okay. Dude, you're just gonna go along with that? Oh, mom, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I left myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. Mmm, marshmallows. Mmm. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp. Oh, okay, alright, alright, hold up, hold up, we're not- Okay, stop the Sweet Home Alabama music, we're not doing anything like this now. No, no, no thank you, no way, no how, stop that. What are you doing? A demonstration. Guys, you're so fucking dumb, I should. Oh boy. And you? Are you still awake? Yeah, why are you up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I want to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright. You don't- I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Oh, she's gonna tell you. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole- the whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little me. Yeah, probably not the best look. At least she didn't catch it when she was munching on my face. On the cheek, I must admit. For the love of God, this hat better not be what it looks like. Well, whatever. What does it look like to you? Where'd you get to... What's it look like now, Mom? Ashley, come on! Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas, because I will shoot. And you go get a rope or something. I'm tying this dude and don't kill dad. You do not need to be told that. <sighs> uh where am I gonna get something to tie a purse? No. Uh where am I gonna No. Let's uh 
Maybe, wait, there's rope down here, right, sir? Uh, got Christmas lights, sir. Uh. Talk to mom using Christmas lights. This is where your life has come to. What about dad? Also, I think you need more than a string of lights to hold a grown man in place. Uh, well, maybe it'll be enough to hold you, but if I need your input, I'll ask for it, okay? Let's see. I need something else. What else do I got? Hmm. Oh, you really want to do this? Uh, don't take it to heart. Go find something to tie dad up with. I'll keep the hag quiet. Okay, well, that's something, but, uh... Quite the heavy sleep in this one. Uh, let's see, what? Oh wait, hold on. There's some rope in the closet along with other equipment. I wonder if this will find. Actually, you want to take out the rope from everything else? Ah, oh, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son, what else are you doing? Yeah, sorry, I was just need to, uh, there's absolutely no good explanation as you why you're rummaging through this sex toy. Oh, God. I guess they didn't really have to worry since the kids were in the house anymore. But this is traumatizing. Look, Jackson, look at him. He's terrified. How could you do this to him? And the truth, I want to tie Mom up. <laughs> Doesn't sound any better. Again, are we going to ignore all the sweet link? Do not. No, you there. You off screen with the DJ. Do not start putting on that sweet home Alabama music. It is not time for this. I want to fuck myself. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She wanted to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. So confused, your father goes to check on your mother. Got rope? Maybe you should hang yourself with it. Dude, dude, just just get through all this. You should be fine. Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. Hey, what is going on? Andrew, weren't you supposed to be messing? <laughs> What is wrong with this game? The last episode was just about, like, demons and murdering people and sacrifices. Now it's all about, the, you know, weird Alabama shit, masturbating, and sex toys. What? What is going on with this game? Just walk down and slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not dwell on it, as you'd rather not be visualized how it came to be. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the writ- Hold up, uh, Ma? What's the pin to your credit card? Uh, is that what it's all about? Money? You go as far just for a quick buck? Uh, what's the pin, and where's the card itself? Uh, it's in my purse. Uh, she tells you the pin, and you scribble it down on a note. Uh, Alright then, let me go and try this. Uh, actually, you stay here and don't do anything. Uh, if that depends on them. If she gives me the wrong pin, and you end them, then what? Uh, again, depends on if they behave or not. All right, I'll be quick. In a sec. All right, let's go upstairs then. Let's see. Credit card. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Get back on the stairs. I'm not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming this whole thing to go blow up in our faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll get it right back. It's just... Come on with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Lay... Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. Hey, you're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Again! Maybe stay a few feet away. Let's, get, let's go COVID rules, six feet apart. How about that? Well, Andrew's busy picking up the money you use to set the ritual, or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think I need blood candles and candles and ruins, candles, and blood. I, I drew ruins on the floor using the warden's blood. I'll set up some candles. I mean, those big magic circles already drawn. I think it was drawn with blood too. Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Well, hold on. Got a kitchen knife, uh... Hmm. Where am I gonna get blood, uh? Well, I suppose I can always do that. I shouldn't go outside, uh. I need to figure out, uh... What else is there in there, uh? Uh... Where can I get 
a candle, is it? Oh, there's probably some down in the basement. Let's see. Let's see. Here would be candles, all right. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care about what I'm about. Huh? Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, actually. Huh? You're the one who shut me out. Huh? And even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, at the time when you left me to starve for three months? Huh? That was you looking out for me? Oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. Huh? I never told anyone that you two little psychos did to that girl. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? Take your meds. Uh, I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near the warehouse you used to play at. So, whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. Now that when, it come, when it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, actually. A saint! I would say she's wrong, but also she's not really a saint because she would have checked her child into a psychiatric ward or something. I mean, she was a kid! If, she, if they said, like, you know, hey, she's a kid and all that stuff, I don't think she's mentally, you know, there's a problem with her mentally. Maybe they would have done something with her, but no, you decided to just keep wandering off. Ah, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what you would have done if they would have found you out? Now then, your patron is a virtue. Let me see whose blood I shall use. Let's go. I think dad's kind of just like, eh, on this. We'll, we'll do mom. Nah. Honey. It's fine, don't worry about me. Yeah, she would have worried about you in return. Harsh. Got blood? Right, let's see here. Now let's finish on the masterpiece. Oh, hold on. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. Looky, my, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because this is not that. You never do. You never. No, don't let her get the rise out of you now. Candles, candles. Uh, no. Got candles times four. Okay. Alright, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back! How'd it go? Angie, give me a hug. You have a draw loon on your card? I do. You do? I can only get a couple hundred before it locks me out. So. Ha, suck it, bitch. Being a simple run in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we got. Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you're a call to make. Uh. Actually, take it to the phone. Uh. You draw your gun. Off we go. Come on, mother dear. You're in luck. The customer service line is just open for the day. Yeah, somehow there's already a million hour wait. And guess what? You wait. Uh. Please hold a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Yes, hey, hey mom, while we're waiting here, you know, to this customer service representative, I want you to know, I'm gonna kill you because I care about my brother and I want us to live a happy life without you. I hope you understand, you know, we're just gonna wait here for the customer service up without talking about killing you, sacrificing you to a devil and all that kind of stuff, you know, just, just normal stuff that mother and daughters talk about. You know, other uh, we can talk about other things, but you know, mostly just murder. And, you know, using you for a demon sacrifice. So. Please hold up with you as soon as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. If a quarter millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You see, you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That's why I said yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your car gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's trying to tell her, but no, 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 not today. <laughs> there we go. Your gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. All right then. Have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back to the basement with you. And don't think you for a second I didn't see that stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, mother. The car should be freed now. And like your mother, who Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? 
Yeah, I don't remember the little ruins looked like anymore. God, you remember such shit. Though I already figured out much, so I stitched them out for you. Well, why didn't you just draw the ruins themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fire, whatever. Give me the card, I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but, I mean, still. Just hand me the card, I... Actually, I can't. I really leave Andrew alone with Mom and Dad. Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley, you wonder know if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. We're gonna save our game, just to be safe. Huh? Trust him. Just give me the card, I'll go get the money. Alright, uh, please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? Haha, <laughs> see you later. I'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. Now I'm Andrew. Well, there's nothing you can do about the missing audio, but at least you can draw the missing ruins. Now, where did you actually get all this blood? Got blood? Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Technically, anyway. <laughs> it's like, what's you going to sacrifice you to a demon? He's going to do the killing. Then where is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let us scare you a little. We'll, we'll leave you alone after that. How about it? How do I say whether she believes you or not? You know, Lele, she likes all this hocus pocus shit. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I want to apologize to you for always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a seven and a five-year-old to care for. Oh, she was in her twenties? Oh, oh. I th think you'd have fared better than me? I want to know. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. It was just a fuck up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. Ha, so fine. Look where we are right now. Yeah, again, you, they both have a point. I mean, you kind of had things worse, but at the same time, where are you right now? Anyway, you were such an easy child, I thought we'd be just fine having another. I wasn't catching on actually to be so... I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's my fault, I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, you can help. I can help you get a job. We're hiring at your company, aren't they? Look, they're hiring at your company, aren't they? Aren't they, love? That's right, if you put a good word in for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though, they get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you an olive branch. I'm gonna save the game. Now, part of me wants to accept this, because this could be an opportunity for him to get away from Ashley. But at the same time, I know for sure... Oh, not for sure. I don't know for sure. But I just get this inkling for sure that if we let them go, they're gonna snitch on us. It doesn't matter. I can tell... Maybe she is thinking, like, you know, oh, he's not actually doing this. He's just... Ashley's forcing him to do this. If we actually try and help him, then things will turn out okay. But the thing is... I do not trust them. I feel like they are going to try and turn on us. So I am going to decline. Well, about Ashley. I wish you weren't talking about her that way. Let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death certificates about anyway? It's a life insurance scam. Nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor. Well, a surgeon, actually. After they told us you'd be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected to him. And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had my life insurance. Well, I got it for you too after you got quarantined. It's kind of cu curious that they let you do that. So then when we died, were you in on it? Of course not. I really thought you died. They said your bodies had to be burned because of the parasites. That's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah. She's full of shit. <laughs> Where are you going? I have to finish setting things up for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. We can sort out the documents out. Hell, you can't even live here if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind. Just like that. That's okay. Not really interested. What? 
But that that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not? Uh, I get it. What do you get? Wait. Hmm? You fuck her. Oh! <laughs> Mother! I said stop with that sweet home Alabama music! You are not turning it on! You are not! I am telling you right now. No. 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 I am not doing it. I am no Step away from that jukebox. You are not turning on that sweet home Alabama music. You are going to make Jack cry. Look at him. He's close to tears already. Look what they're doing to him, people. Uh, what? Huh? Oh, it's disgusting, Andrew. She's your sister, for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, Mom? Then what does she give you that makes it rip all this? Well, that's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I... <laughs> so bad. I'm the worst mother ever. I mean... No, I mean, yes, you are, but I have never... I'm back! Now of all times. I got the money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? Ashley, you are not helping. I said stay away from that music. Stay away. I'm about to die. Ah, whatever. Someone is fucking demon already. Oh, so eager. Let's see if this shows up, though. Since there's no music. What are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. And you light the candles. Whatever. Alright, get to it. Oh, now I'm back as Ashley. Okay. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mute music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something, please don't. Ah! Mercilessly, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the second-hand embarrassment. Ah! Tarsal. What the fuck is that? I offer these two. They're screaming as short-lived as the demon steals their souls. Oh, shoot! Sheesh! Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. Why did you have to play it last time, then? The circle is hard to find. Sold is easy to follow. However, you are my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... As a, a deal's a deal, charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you! What? Hello? This is the brother. That's right, my pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul. It's mine. Thanks, thanks, sis, for making it even more weird. I will see you again, Tar Soul. Sure, I'll make sure another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. But me? Why? Okie dokie. Bye bye. The entity leaves. And that's that. The trinket is charged. What do you mean it'll summon you? Who cares? What do we do about the bodies? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Uh... Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, them go having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere. Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, actually, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Ugh, how about this? We can't just leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Ah, uh, right you are. See? No, I'm not dumbass that all the time. No, just dumb and an ass. <laughs> oh, wow, check out this smart ass right here. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is Dad breathing? You take a sh look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom, too! What? You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable. That can't be, the cultists die, and the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? Did they seriously cut up a guy when he was still alive? Oh boy, what is wrong with these people? I sure didn't, I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, please tell me he wasn't still alive when I ate him. I think he was. 
What the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from the blood loss. Well, true, true. If not, you're ripping his head off with a touch. <laughs> oh man, this just gets worse and worse. I'm sorry, Andrew. Let me just in with these two. Get to cut in. Now that. This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. I don't know, I need to think. Oh, come on, where are you going? No, Angie, look, look here for a second. What? Girl! Ashley! What the hell? You get your father too? What are you doing? There, all dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. Uh? He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual, but you did not miss that sign of, sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Okay, let's see. We got, uh... What do we do now? Alright, I'll start cutting you guide the blood to the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, wait, stop. Stop, it's flooding. Huh? Oh, the hell gross. Oh, great, the drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the body. Look for something to unclog the drain with. We got screwdrivers. Uh, screw the lid. We can pour some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Ah, 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 I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was time. Got vinegar. Oh, baking soda's probably gonna be upstairs, right? So, so let's head over here. Check the cabinets. Got baking soda. There we go. <laughs> I knew it. I'm a genius. Bestest driver. Pouring some baking soda. So it's not bubbling up, but the clock does not listen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. Well, of course, I'm a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do some man's job. Fine, just fine. Oh, well, I see some gloves. I see some gloves right over there. Rubber gloves. There you go. Yeah, you go. have fun. Did you? He, just, he takes God knows what out of the drain. A seemingly never any amount of God knows what. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. This is gross, Andy. <laughs> Bold of you to call me that when I'm armed. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> do it, 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 do it. Come here, you. Ah, no, 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 don't you dare. Now I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. I'm sorry, I apologize. Fine, you are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. Ugh, you and your brother dismember your parents. To think I'm playing a game where that's actually a line of dialogue. Uh, where, you know, you and your brother m dismember your parents. Uh, and disembowel them. That too. And, kept, and that too. Please don't tell me that's all I do with the bodies. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy like you expected him to. Uh, Andrew? Ashley? Who is it? Uh, what? N nothing Oh, God, look! They're everywhere! Oh. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Huh? What? To think I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh. Right. Then again, you're, I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm? What? Are you doing alright? As right as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're being weird. Look who's talking. <laughs> Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So what's the plan for, uh, for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Got a head. Oh. Pile of organs. That's a lot of limbs. Got two torsos. Got a head. Alright. Let's see. Can we just flush it down the toilet? A functioning toilet. Nope. Alright. Well, let's, uh... You know what I'm just saying? 
I'm just guessing the possibility. You could have just left them in a vegetative state and left them in the bed. They would have still been alive. Someone probably would have come around to them eventually and been like, oh, maybe something happened to them. Maybe they got into like an injury or something. Let's see. Oh, no. I want to check all over here, see if there's anything. No? There's gotta be something, huh? Maybe we just hide him. We can hide him in the sex closet. Nope. Okay. Can't do that. Maybe we hide him in the fridge. Nope. Can't do that. Nope. Can't do that either. Oh, wait on the fireplace. Oh, we can burn the bodies here. It would be like creation. There's no way the temperature in this thing is high enough. Uh, boo hoo. Watch. You place the torso above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but light the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. Makes me kinda hungry though. Let's leave this be for now. Let's see, what else we got? Oh wait, hold on. You cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skin the head, got face times two, got skull times two. What do you do with their faces? Make mask out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? What about the skulls? Well, the skulls can, we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. Uh, you pour your or character organs in the blender and blend away. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge, all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. Thank God. Thank you. They didn't do anything weird with it. So. How's that? Good is gone. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What? Did you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Uh, watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the sink. Uh, heh, alright. That was pretty smart, I guess. Uh, for an idiot. Uh. Um. Oh no, let's turn some into the meat into soup. Uh, throw in some vegetables, many spices, and then throw the rest away for scraps. What do you mean the rest? You know what I think. I'm eating some. Do, you, do what you want, sir. Uh. And what? And what was that soap you made earlier, and where are the ingredients again? Sorry, soup. The recipe is just right there, read it. She don't need me anything would be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them in a pot. Ah, there we go, thank you. I knew you'd memorize it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. I also, where can I, so can I go outside now and get, uh, wait, first off. Threw the faces into the fire. There we go. Get some potatoes, carrots, uh, onions. Can I do anything else? Out no, probably not. But I'm gonna like. Can I go out out to the front yard? While your parents might be long in the trash, it isn't a good look to dunk them in here like they are. Maybe the bodies look like less conspicuous. Oh, I get it. Too. We need to toss the scraps in there. Oh. Now I need to chop them up. Huh? And then put them in the stew. Now, is there anything else we still need to deal with? Huh? Yes, yes there is. You think the soup is ready yet? Huh? Hold on. Nope. Dinner is ready. I'm eating too? Of course, this is the last healthy home-cooked meal for a while after that. Well, I suppose. That's right. Now say, ah, uh, ah, uh, unexpected. Well, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? I'm really dry. It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Launch is a dry person, all right? Ooh, burn. <laughs> And how the hell is it dry? This is soup. No, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. You will retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is thanks I get. Welcome to motherhood. <laughs> I'm sorry you can't cook. You are not forgiven. Oh, jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. Come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way that my dumbass can't appreciate. So how about that? <laughs> Why, yes indeed. This cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. And out of the world culinary expertise which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Uh, because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all this so uh, Dude, you need to stop. 
I'm almost out. Hopefully this thing's done soon. I need to stop reading about the, uh, the source, man. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I meant it waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings, not gods. Uh, no, so it's like, no gods. That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh, God. <laughs> Lo and behold, I implore you, come and feast your eyes upon her. Oh, there is food, too. To ease your weary soul, she's brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic in her fingers, tips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips, a quarter past midnight. Oh, dude. You are really going at it. Should I buy a lip balm? And the meat isn't dry, cut, man. It's just right. <laughs> uh, whatever. Humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. What? Next time? Uh, whatever. Anyhow. I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities. We still need to do something about the bones. First of all, we need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Fine, just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Yep. Don't worry too much about someone seeing me throw away the soup, but as long as you don't look nervous, I won't think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Ah, right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you. I mean, he cares about you. That should be that should count. Do away let's over human soup. Huh? All right. Now I'm back as Andrew. Okay. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. Huh? Now I'll just collect them all before I actually lose track of them. Got a plastic bag. Where are, all, are, where are all the bones? Oh, probably in here. Yep. The flesh is burning into charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones. Put them in a, one of them in plastic bags. Let's see. Can I bury them? No, I don't think so. What to do with the bones? What to do? I need something over here. Oh, nope, nothing. Let's head back downstairs. Wait a second. Oh, what do you do with the skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did you do all this other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The uh, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have not gotten rid of the, a body before. I'm hoping one can identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float through? Aren't they kind of like sticks? Also, your little comment there about, you know, you, you can't identify someone just through their bones. Uh, have you not watched the TV show Bones? Dr. Temperance Brendan would easily be able to take care of this. So easily. Her and Booth would be on you like flies on rotten meat, you know? I'll find something to weigh them down, just in case. Uh, you remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got a toothless skull. Got teeth. Let's see. You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries for them to fall flush. There, all gone. You wish you could do this all to your problems. No, I need something to weigh them down. No? Mop a work, uh, work of art. Yeah, yeah, mop is a work of art. And there's something upstairs. Huh? Anything? Anything in mom and dad's room? Let's see, let's see. No. Nothing there. There's gotta be something I can use to. Uh, hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. No. Oh, here we are. Got some rocks. You place them in one of the plastic bags. It's a nice little shortcut back inside. Finally, all that remains now is to clean up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yeah! Do you want them to come down when your parents are missing and see all this? Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why do you have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever? I wish we could, but eventually someone's going to go, Hey, Mr. Graves hasn't showed up for work in a while. So they so they get fired. So what? Uh, I doubt either of the bosses will care enough for follow missing a person's report. Uh, there's also the fact that they apparently mingled with people here. Neighbors will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door. 
you can tell us some lies. They were house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family members. Us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fucked it. Oh, man, what am I doing? Irrelevant, it's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well, someone's gonna come looking for those authorities. And who will they find here? The children who didn't report their parents missing? Officers ask, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, it's just I don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new Mr. And new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into some problem. The same problem with our IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley, I wish that was easy. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. And back over to her. Yes, I am Ashley. I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Ah, uh, whatever, I'm gonna need a mop. A state of the art mop. Oh. Thank you. Cleaning up the blood, cleaning up the blood from the sacrifice. Cleaning up the blood, cleaning up the blood, cleaning up the blood from the sacrifice. I like to clean up the blood. Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yeah, probably. Leave, leave no stone un, leave no, leave no stone turned. We're gonna candles to the box. All right, let's go see what uh, Andrew's up to. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so I stand to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Oh, I have to go actually go to bed? So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give me any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, don't forgive me, your highness. Uh, it's been a week or two. Uh, and up yours, you didn't even remember our parents' address. Uh, which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have a clairvoyant dream. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then could, it then could I hold it this time? It gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you? What, uh, what's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines or shit? That was me telling you no. I did get it, I just didn't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket! Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... What are you thinking? We're not cutting it. That's not it. But I'm just... I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when we're sleeping together? Girl, seriously. Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine. Though I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Good night. Cut the music. Don't do anything. It's not anything weird. They're, they're not doing anything. Stop the music. Fuck this, how am I supposed to sleep after you win and says something so off-color? <laughs> it doesn't help that at all, at all Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So, that so that's what that little show was all about earlier. Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. What? Nothing good night. Uh, please, nothing weird happen. It isn't long until you s sleep takes you over. What the? The TV won't turn on. Got pink plushie. Oh, a sucky drawing. Oh, okay, hold on. So if I go... No? Okay, oh. Uh, hold on, where was... There was... It, it gave me... Somewhere. 
center, all the way down. Come on, where am I supposed to go? Oh, got a red crayon. Nothing but static, huh? Oh, well, hold on, maybe now. Wait, a red crayon? Ah, there we go. Yay, oh, thank you. Got a green crayon. Ah, oh, okay, now I see. What's that I do? Going all the way down here, right? Yep. Oh, oh, gotta take the long way around. Come on. There we go. Got a blue crown. Okay. But where? What's the point? Oh, do I have to give him to the uh, little bunny guy? Got all the crowns. Oh. Oh. Hey there. The TV you need to watch. So more importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. What the? You got a stool? Take it. You got a pink plushie? Oh, hold on. A pillow? Face down. No, hold on. Let's... Face down a stool? Okay. Pink plushie at the table, but it fell right off. Let's see. Another plushie won't move. Another plushie won't budge. Got a green plushie. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe that'll do it. Pink plushie. So what am I supposed to be looking for then? Oh, hold on. No. Maybe I can... Oh. Oh, they, the plushie seems happy together. Oh, okay. There we go. What's this? An empty spot. Okay. The chest is locked. The soup is brewing, though. It seems to be missing substance. Trash is locked. The yellow plushie won't budge. Got mom plush. Okay. Empty spot. Oh, wait, hold on. Do mom to the pot, but more substance required. The trash is locked. What else was I looking for? The chest is locked. Uh. The pink plush are you? Oh, dad plushie. Come on. Let's put the uh, pink plushie back. Oh, no, I got the green plushie. So let's uh, put in... Threw dad plushie into the pot. Place the uh, pink plushie. Oh, Place the green plushie. Oh, there we go. The trash can can be utilized. Can it really? Yes, it can. Okay. There's nothing in the chest yet. Well, then what else am I supposed to be uh, doing? What, the ladies' man? Got purple plushie. Got the yellow floozy. Wait, yellow floozy? Yellow. I think the yellow. Nothing happened. Oh. Wait, that. Now it's like where it belongs. Oh. Throw away the yellow plushie into the trash. A bit wishful thinking, perhaps. Oh. Uh. There's something in the cage. The cage is empty. Uh. Got the best thing in the world. Okay. There, all better. Oh, what the heck? 
What the heck? The pencil is nothing on it. Huh? Got a knife? Okay. Got a flower? Place down the... I guess the flower? Okay. Let's see. Uh... Got sunshine. Got a heart. Finally, you monster. Got a broken heart. Once upon a lap. Uh, huh. Once upon a lousy life. Uh, the end. Uh. Uh. The heart, I guess? Uh. Sunshine. Broken heart. Uh, I don't know what decision I'm making with this, but, uh... Sometimes it's just like a highly questionable idea to take this route to. What the... Jack, what do you think? Go with it? I know what I'm about. Alright. What the heck? The cage is locked. What's this? Friends. Uh, what's, oh, what's this? Siblings. Got key. Parents. Wait, is that supposed to be their mother? What the heck? Classmates. Got green plushie. Yeah? Um, so what now? Uh, okay. What? Uh. Oh, am I supposed to do it for every one of them? Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. What's happening here? What? What's going on? What did I do? What? what? Penny for your thoughts? No deal? Come on. Give me what... Turn on the music. Uh. This is the choices that I made, people. They told me it was the wrong choice, but I still made it. Jack, I'm sorry you had to see this. Uh, I should have seen with your lights, so you shouldn't have to. But I know the people out there would be very upset if you weren't actually here. Mortifying. I need a drink after that. God, what have I done? <laughs> Didn't seem like a minute ago. So I think you meant to say gratifying. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah, something else fit in just- Oh, God! What have I done? What have I done? Oh, God. The DJ's playing the music over there. You can hear it. Sweet home Alabama. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh yeah, so mortified, are you? You know I'm easy to distract. Uh, some guilty conscience you've got? Uh, better than yours. Uh, come here, you. Wait, you gently, gently get... The vision ends without you dying. Wait, hold on, was that a... The vision? So wait, that hasn't happened yet. It's just what could happen. Oh. 
Maybe there's still a chance later on to actually fix it. So at least there's that, you suppose. Well, you wonder if Andrew saw it too. <laughs> oh, he saw it, alright. Mayhaps. <laughs> oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you too. Uh, yeah, good morning or evening, I guess, whatever. Right, so hey, did you get a vision? Probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot then? I don't! <laughs> you did see it! Quite the vision, huh, big brother? That's n that was not a vision. The demon was messing with us. Yeah, that's it. That's just it. Let's hope he is messing with you. It's because we tried to cheap and get two visions for the price of one. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please. I meant it is your trinket. Clearly you were right and weren't supposed to use it. Sure, sure. Keep selling it. I'm totally buying it. Screw you. Yeah, you just might. Uh, oh, look up, do you honestly think that? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me. I don't want to hear it. Uh, you just help me dis disagree our parents' corpse by getting laid. Is yeah, getting laid is what you're freaking out about? No one got laid. They keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. Dude, we're here for you. We're all here for you. We're not like that, are we? I don't know. Wait, you say you don't know? You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous. Oh dear, what's that? Uh, wishful thinking? Tell all that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of jealous streak yourself. Uh, now that's wishful thinking. Bad chance, get over yourself. Uh, I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me ask anyway. It's not gonna come down to that, right, you and me? Do I want? Yo, know, for content, fine. Never say never, Angie, my dear. <laughs> I do this for you, people. Jack, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You go. You go. Keep playing that music. I just, I just dug a, dip, a deeper hole. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why? Am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? <laughs> say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. Why is this such a massive issue for you? We've done way worse things together. I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? <laughs> I, wow. What a landmine, huh? Well, yeah. Ah, forget this. Uh, forget this whole thing. Fine. That was clearly a vision, so it'll probably come up sooner or later. Well, in your last vision, a guy slit our throats, yet here we are. Let's just leave it at that. Alright then, if you say so. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the rug and calls it a day. Anyway, let's just go throw Mom and Dad in the ocean, yeah? Alright, fine. Well, make sure we get everything. Let's get out of here before anyone notices us. Let's go. Oh! You, you didn't keep... I hate you. It's not my fault, it's too bad gripped on its own. I don't care, hurry up and pick them up. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, you gotta talk to him? Thank god no one's here at this hour. You think? Hopefully no one's here at this hour. Vroom vroom! Okay, so don't say straight too far into the light. Just in case someone does pass by. Okay. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do you make the sure the skulls sink? Uh, they'll, probably, they'll probably be fine. Well, in that case, uh, I bet I can throw further than you. Uh, bet you can't. Uh, oh yeah? Definitely. Uh, on the count of three. One, two, ah! Ah, oh, what's that? Looks like I won. Filthy cheat! Nope, you never said pushing wasn't allowed. Oh yeah? Well, there's no fr uh, fucking prize, jackass. It's a first to the f Ah! A hug? Why? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> she was screaming like a demon there for a second. Uh, you're a little different lately. Uh, am I no fun anymore? Mm, more like... Let me think. Uh, how have you been sleeping lately? Uh, are you actually looking for a fight? Uh, I'm not talking about that. I mean, just in general. Your insomnia and nightmares. How are those? 
Ah. It's been decent, all things considered. Yeah. Expectantly, you seem to be doing just fine. Well, don't be happy for me or anything. Well, he is going through a lot of stuff by just losing the parents, by throwing the skulls into the ocean. Ah, Andy is all grown and doesn't need me anymore. Andy is dead and I don't think he needs anything. Even so, there's that trinket too. You're apparently the only one allowed to use it, so there's that. I don't know about that, but I can certainly... But it should have showed me one way to keep him around. Don't get any ideas, Lele. Yeah, I suppose. Right? I'm honestly pissed we don't know what's coming next. It's really hard to plan what to do now. Ah, right. So what do we do? The money has brought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. Any time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. And can't we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and I'll get right to that. Ah, the cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not though. Stop being such a defeatist. Let's go take a little look-see. It's a crap idea to go anyway. Near where they killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random parking lot, uh, since there's definitely not ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever, let's get going. Adam, I had a mole here? Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Uh, waste of time and money. I love it. Uh-huh, glad to hear it. Uh, what? End of episode two! Want to save the game? Uh, yes, I do want to save the game. You continue here once episode 3, Burial, has been updated. Oh, wow! Okay! Uh, so, that is it, people. That was episode 2 of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. And I am sorry, I made all the wrong choices, and when I had the chance to maybe turn it around and not do it, I did it. But I'm doing it for you guys, for the content. I know you guys wanted that because you guys are a little sick and freaky. Which is what Halloween is all about, which is why you're watching this. Man, two, wow, two and a half hours. It was, they told me it was only going to take about two hours to finish this uh, episode, but it took two and a half. I think it took like one hour to finish the first episode. If the next chapter is like three, epi three hours long, then no. But I think I'll save, ch uh, I think I'll save episode three for next Halloween. So I'll have something to where I can play. I mean, it took me a year to get from chapter 1 to chapter 2, so there you go. But yes, Jack, I think that's it. That is going to be our Halloween episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all had an excellent Halloween. And if you watch this later on, I hope you have an excellent Halloween next year. But remember, people, those who do not like and subscribe will either be haunted by ghosts and spirits and ghouls that they hate it, or if they love it, they will not. So, uh, oh no, sorry, you will be, it will be either way. So either you like and subscribe, or should be haunted by ghouls, or if you do like that, click like and subscribe, and you will be haunted by ghouls. So either way, you're gonna turn out okay. But until next time, people, ta-ta, goodbye for now, and have a happy Halloween. <laughs>